Good morning, everybody. It's my real pleasure and honor to welcome you to our uh, conference on Open Research Data in the context of their implications for science and society. Uh, having such a number of uh, uh, important uh, participants and guests here, please uh, allow me to avoid the uh, long list of uh, introductions as uh, the majority of uh, our guests will also contribute to the conference. Let me only uh, take this opportunity to welcome one of our participants, very special participants, uh, Professor Włodzisław Duch, uh, Under Secretary of State in the Ministry for Science and Higher Education, and uh, himself a uh, very, very active uh, promoter of openness in science, and so a person who, is, uh, who belongs into our community. Uh, prior to his uh, uh, entering into governmental uh, post and during his term. Open research data, uh, it's uh, an area uh, which has become the hottest uh, field for uh, debates and discussion on uh, transformation of the entire uh, system of science. Uh, I am not about to give any uh, overview that would be uh, too trivialized, but let me just uh, refer to one uh, threshold date. It was the July 16th of uh, 2012, when the European Commission made this uh, brave move forward and announced a recommendation concerning access to results of research. Not only limited, as was at that time, uh, politically uh, nearly accepted to access to publications, but also addressing uh, the complex of issues related to the access to research data. Uh, this, uh, well, we have actually expected that with that move, Commission uh, might uh, succeed in uh, inserting uh, a red complete policy into the Horizon 2020 uh, program, Still, it uh, eventually remained on the pilot and trial level. Uh, in some of the countries, the policies concerning access to research data went far beyond this average. In some others, is still in statu nascendi, and uh, we have decided to organize uh, this meeting here in Warsaw in order to promote uh, the idea uh, of the role that is assigned to the access to research data in the current science. Uh, its credibility, its reproducibility as for the results, and also the overall condition. Uh, we believe that this transformation may serve well the developments that to some extent will uh, provide a balance to the overall uh, trend of making results uh, of scientific research products. Uh, prior to becoming products on limited scale, the results of science, as I hope everybody here in the audience uh, agrees, uh, should be considered goods, common goods, uh, serving a wider uh, range of objectives, but not, not just only <coughs> uh, commercial success, uh, domination uh, over others, supremacy. So, 
I'm not about to go into another uh, antipode, namely the issues related to reproducibility uh, that uh, have become somehow a hot topic in the context of a number of publications even in the most prestigious journal that based on experimental data that proved to be not exactly precise in their statements and conclusions. Uh, being positive, this is just an opportunity and challenge to science uh, to address the whole complex of issues behind uh, data as those are, in a sense, uh, highly dimensional as opposed to one-dimensional uh, problems related to publications. In the context of data, uh, issues related to legal aspects, to uh, uh, property issues, this is uh, something that requi may require still a quite uh, extensive discussion. Still, uh, nevertheless, it is really a chance, a real chance for science to make this move. And in this connection, I am the more uh, pleased to open our uh, conference and uh, give the floor to our special uh, guest, Professor Wojcisław Duch, and uh, ask him for his address. Thank you.